Hey everyone, welcome to front of the Eps, I'm Minty, and this is episode 60 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode we've got the ST Ugly by Really Big Tanks coming up against the Wilhelm. Uh, Wilhelm, all that stuff by uh, Smirnov. Go ahead and get this underway, though as mentioned in the previous battle, the Wilhelm has been... Uh, uh, disqualified and I remember what it was for this time it's got uh, these propellers on the underside they uh, not allowed to have downward facing propellers and if you remove those from the Wilhelm it becomes extremely unstable and unbalanced so it was uh, it was disqualified from the tournament unfortunately the ugly taking some big hits there that shell just kind of slid right in that gap of the, the barrel guard there and detonated. Yeah, I think the ugly's forward guns have all been knocked out. It does seem to have a pretty bad habit of losing its guns despite having quite a bit of heavy armor. There we go, rear ones are getting into the mix now. Firing that pure high explosive. Oh, that rear gun! <laughs> Just absolutely obliterated there. Wow, that uh, that shell did very, very little. probably get like a 15 or 20 percent like performance increase from its guns if not more if it just had some fuses <laughs> all those shells bouncing off or it's just such a waste Wilhelm still at 98.6% health. Ugly down to 90.8. Oh, gonna go down even more. A couple more hits laying in there. 90.3. The ugly is listing hard. Looks like we had an explosion either blow up from underneath or down up from above. Probably from above. I don't think the uh, Wilhelm has time fuses on it, or altitude fuses. I'm not sure. One thing is for sure, though, the Wilhelm has a lot more guns available to it still. Yeah, there's no altitude or time fuses on this. Uh, but the Wilhelm has a lot more weapons available to it still, and is taking quite a bit less damage. Are any of these guns barrels still functional, I wonder? Oh, this this front gun is it's still a thing. I thought it was destroyed. Maybe it got repaired. And there's another shell bouncing off. That one! That is an interest. Oh, okay. I thought it was bouncing backwards, but no, it just kind of ricocheted off and kept going. Like that. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, the Wilhelm is... Is it going down? It might be sinking. That is a heavy list in the... In the uh, bow is dipped down in the water. I wonder if maybe it lost some of the underside propellers or something and that's causing it to be unstable because it is it is getting low. It gets much lower. It's going to start getting DQ time. It can't be very far from it right now. Flooding inside this ship. Yep, all that's flooding. a pretty significant HP lead now that, and both ships are now out of material. But it is so close. It is just like barely riding the edge. If it goes down like any further than this, wow. Like most of it is underwater. I don't know how that DQ timer isn't ticking up. Well, now it's, it's okay, but a minute ago it was much worse. I think it might be the turning that's causing it. Because now that it's stuck. Because now it's kind of straightened out. Or I don't know, now, now it's sailing just fine. Now it's, you know, properly being a ship again. Well after it had run out of materials to repair with, so it's not like it got buoyancy back from something being repaired. I really don't know what happened. Whatever the case, oh, the ugly is having very similar issues. And it is actually gaining DQ time now. Oh, do they have, I think the shells have, these shells have inertial fuses. Because they're detonating on impact with the water. Yeah, if the ugly were below 80% HP, it would just get an 80% sinking be small. But it's above 80%, so it's gaining DQ time instead. Now it doesn't matter, because it'll explode from the DQ time before it'll despawn from 80% sinking. And there we go, that's the end of round one. And since the Wilhelm has been disqualified, that just means both ships get zero. Which means I don't even need to go back to this to the to the, uh, the uh, score calculator thing. I can just move right on to round two. <laughs> oh, the uh, the ugly ended its journey not far from where it started it in round one. <laughs> All right, let's go round two. Get this underway. See how this goes. See, it's kind of a shame that there's only three guns on the front of the Ugly, and it takes so long for it to turn to bring the rear guns into the fight. You know, maybe it does have altitude fuses or time fuses or something on those shells from the Wilhelm. It doesn't look like it, but whatever... Well, see, all of them detonated strange, because we saw plenty of them, you know, just go down into the water and not care. And see, this is why it's so bad, because look, this turret's disabled. All the guns are on it are knocked out. 
and it hasn't even gotten to aim at the enemy, let alone fire at it. Well, now it's getting to aim, but... Oh, one of its barrels actually is still functional. I stand corrected. bit of damage to the turret itself. Landing another shot right in there would be perfect. Probably pop a cap off. A turret cap, that is. bounced off. Some more hits in this area, but I don't think any of the explosions actually reached in there. Just need to aim a little bit higher. Wilhelm's still firing in volleys. You see, that one didn't detonate when it skipped off the water. And it's not detonating off of a, t of a timed or altitude fuse there. So I think they have inertial fuses. See, with these ones, they didn't skip, so they didn't detonate. Yeah, those are inertial fuses. Inertial fuse seems like an odd choice for a APHE gun to me. Because there are going to be times, you know, where the shell gets its trajectory altered just from hitting the enemy and it's going to detonate early instead of penetrating in further. Got two shells just bouncing off into the distance over there. I'm taking some hits to the deck. If it loses much more altitude, again, it's gonna... It's gonna get that sinking despawn. Or, you know, the, uh, the sinking DQ time, just like the Ugly did in the first round. Ugly just needs to... Uh, land hits and have them detonate. Blow up some of this reinforced wood with riding buoyancy, make it sink down a little bit further. Oh, and th an entire volley, four shells ricocheting off of the Wilhelm. Like, if that, if that doesn't uh, tell you why you need some sort of fuse on pure HE shells, I don't... Like, if, if you don't get it after that, well, I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And suddenly the Wilhelm is popping up out of the water again. Low in the water again as well now. 
It's not going to be able to take many more hits. Yep, yeah, there it is. 80% sinking. Oh, and suddenly it pops up out of the water too. in and that's what caused it to pop up like that because now it's taking some damage in the rear here again and got some let some water in and now it's uh, getting ready to sink and meanwhile Wilhelm's over here in the same situation kind of just barely afloat right now Question is, who's gonna sink first? Well, that answers that. Looks like it's gonna be the ugly. Wilhelm just has to not sink here. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because technically, for scoring purposes, the Wilhelm is sunk. Because it was disqualified, so... No need to wait and see if it actually stays afloat or not. Just means both ships get zero. Now, Ugly's got to win a round, or at least survive a round. Otherwise, it's just going to end up with a flat 100 points. So here we go, round three. Let's see if that happens. It really needs to just immediately start turning and bring these rear guns online. Because these, these three pure high explosive guns in the front are just not cutting it. And, well, that turret's disabled. That turret cap popped off. So yeah. This is why you try to broadside immediately. Plus, you know, turning means your enemy might actually miss with their first volley or two. Now the ugly is going to spend a whole bunch of materials trying to repair this turret cap. Probably, and not succeed. doesn't bring the guns back online then spending materials on it's a waste oh. one barrel's firing on that turret again oh no not anymore it isn't This is going for this turret. That was really close to knocking out. And so the the ugly usually has four eight. Well, 13 guns, it's down to 5 right now. Uh, make that 4. <laughs> that forward gun just got pummeled as I was saying that. Now 
Like seriously, the Wilhelm has such issues with buoyancy that if the Ugly were to just put all of its guns on target immediately, it would probably be able to sink the, the Wilhelm first. As long as it doesn't get a whole bunch of ricochets. Like those. Boing! And those. lost one of its guns, looked like a shell impacted on here, detonated, just kind of went under the cap. getting the feeling this is going to be pretty much the same as the first two rounds. All that's left is this one, this one turret here in the rear. to me like the key to sinking the uh the ugly is to open up this rear compartment to water once you do that it's like having some serious issues oh and the rearmost turret has been blown off so we'll go ahead and give the ugly, uh, let it burn the last 500 materials it's got. Oh wait, no, I can't do it like that. I was gonna say let it burn the last 500 materials it's got. And then, uh, call it if it doesn't have any weapons functioning, but it actually gets points off of how much HP it has left, so actually need to let this play out until the ship is destroyed and or time runs out chances are the Wilhelm's going to be able to sink it within the next five minutes but and another cap falls off that might be why the ugly isn't sinking now, because all of its turret caps have been blown off, so that's, you know, a lot less weight pushing it down under the water.
probably leads down to 67 and a half percent but there's only three and a half minutes left it's possible it can survive I'd say the odds are against it but it's possible especially if the uh, the Wilhelm shells keep prematurely detonating from those uh, uh, inertial fuses I couldn't, couldn't think of the name for a second there even though I just talked about them earlier in the video <laughs> I think the reason it stayed up this long is because the guns fell off and it lost, you know, slimmed it down. <laughs> lost some weight. That's an 80% in sinking. So there we go. All three rounds of the ugly was uh, sunk. Which means technically, as far as scoring is concerned, all three rounds, both ships were sunk. So the ugly will be scoring 100 points for this match. Alright. That'll be it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.